In this practice, you are going to find the order of the ordinary differential equations. Determine whether the equation is linear or nonlinear. To find the order of the ordinary differential equations, you need to find the highest order of the derivatives. In the first equations, you can easily find that this is the highest order, second derivatives. So second term is the first derivatives. Third term is not derivatives. So order of the differential equations of the first equation is order becomes a two. Because the highest order of the derivative is a two. And the second equations, the first term is a third derivatives. So order becomes three. Then we need to determine the whether the equation is linear or nonlinear. If you look at the first equations, dependent variables is x. Independent variables is t. So if you find the product of the dependent variables and derivative of the dependent variables, it becomes nonlinear. But in the first equations, you can find the no product of the dependent variables. So this is linear. This equation is a linear equations. In the second equations, dependent variables is again x independent variables t. First term is a linear terms. Then the question is a second terms sin x, trigonometric function of the sin x is a linear or nonlinear. If you remember, sin x can be expanded x minus 1 over 3 factorials x cubed plus 1 over factorial 5 x to the fifth plus blah 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 using the Taylor series expansions. Then if your sin x is equal to the x minus 1 over factorial of 3 x cubed plus 1 over 5 factorial 5 x fifths, then this terms is a product of the dependent variables. So this second equation becomes nonlinear. Okay, this is the answer to the first practice.